So I'm home and I drink a lot of coffee and I eat a lot of food. <laughs> I saw on TikTok the other day that someone was asking for 
like regular black girls on YouTube and TikTok that are not like involved in like black girl luxury stuff and just regular day-to-day -day girls that do just regular stuff. Someone on TikTok was asking that and I'm just like, I don't understand why more people aren't looking for that because we don't all care about luxury stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. So like, I watch YouTubers that do like the black girl luxury life, like Aaliyah and uh, Brianna and Kyra and all those girls that do like the black girl luxury. But I am not someone that's into luxury items. And so even though I watch them, I would never buy any of those things that they are purchasing. The shoes, the clothes, the bags, the, the amount of money that they spend on stuff is just like a lot to me. And I would never do that. And so, and that's not because I don't make enough money because I make enough money to do what they're doing, but I would never spend my money on those things. Like those things are not like very important to me. Like I spend money, but it's like, if I spend like a large amount of money, it's usually gonna be like an electronic device, like a AirPod or like a laptop or a new phone or a new iPad, which I just got, you know, whatever. So, and I spend a lot of money on food. So like food is like probably my like black girl luxury item, but it's like people don't want to see just like regular black girls doing regular things. Like I, I follow this YouTuber, um, her name is Michelle Choi, I think is how you say her name. And she does the um, Living Alone Diaries. This girl has like, she's a Korean girl. She is uh, a YouTuber. She, I think she's only been doing YouTube for a couple of years. She started out in Korea and now she's in New York. And she has like over a million subscribers. She gets so many views on her videos and she really does nothing most of the time. She's vlogging mainly she's at home she's cooking a meal she lets us watch her cook a meal we watch her eat the meal we watch her spend time with her dog we watch her clean um i watch her buy things every one of her videos is 10 minutes long she has um uh sponsorships in every single video which drives me nuts sometimes because i'm like i know she has to pay her bills so I'm not mad that she has those subscribers, but like it's every single video she has uh, something that she wants us to buy. And I usually fast forward through those type of uh, scenes. And I do that for the other girls too that I watch. I watch um, Maggie and Emma. I fast forward through their uh, sponsorships. I fast forward through their hauls. Like these girls, I also watch Gretchen and these girls like they shop a lot. They buy a lot of stuff. I don't see how they have room in their closet for like all of these items that they're buying. Like they shop, like literally every vlog that I click on of theirs, they're, they got a package coming. They've got new items. They got more workout stuff. They got, it's just so much. And then they spend so much money on like Lululemon. Like I looked up Lululemon one day. That shit was like $99 for a pair of leggings. And I was like, like, <laughs> I'm not spending, I don't even work out. Even if I was working out, I'm not buying $99 leggings. Like, but they shop at Lululemon like it's like, like it's a regular store. Like there'll be things that I see like in H&M, like tank tops and stuff that they'll spend a hundred and something dollars on like a little crop tank top. And they're like, oh, it's good quality. That's why I bought it. And they're showing us it like, it's like chump change. And it's like, mm -hmm. like who's buying the stuff that they're advertising. I just, I don't know. But what, what I'm trying to say is like, some of us YouTubers are just casual people who don't do a lot of exciting things and we don't live like a very exciting life. And so like majority of the stuff that I do is now I'm working from home. So I'm home and I drink a lot of coffee and I eat a lot of food and I work graveyard shift. And so like that is like the most exciting parts of my life. And I like, you know, to YouTube it, but it's like, I'm not really getting like views or subscribers or anything and it's like I don't want to change who I am to make YouTubes if that makes sense like I don't want to be someone that I'm not just for YouTube purposes I don't want to start buying luxury items and doing luxurious things 
when that is not the person that I am. Do people not like watch regular girls anymore? Do people not like like regular girls that do regular things that just live a casual life? Like I, I don't know what what more I'm trying to say, but yeah. I have a few people that like watch my videos all the time and I am very appreciative of them. And I just wanna know like, what's keeping you guys around that is not keeping anybody else around because like I'm just having a really hard time like getting subscribers at, and it could be because I'm not putting a lot of effort into my thumbnails maybe I need to but it's like I don't <laughs> I don't take very good pictures I don't take very good photos I don't really like the way that I look all the time and so like it's gonna be hard to like have a cute thumbnail I guess I don't know but like Maybe I don't know how to use hashtags very well. Maybe my tags are not good, that they're not attracting people. Maybe like my titles of my videos are not good. Maybe my descriptions, like it's something that I'm not doing correctly. And so I need to put a little bit more work and effort into it. And I was also like talking to my sister about investing in an actual vlogging camera that they could be like part of the reason why like maybe maybe video quality is an issue I don't know because like right now I'm vlogging on my iPhone 12 and so like I need to maybe invest in an actual camera I've got one more hour of work this is water for some reason even though I'm like not doing anything and sitting at home I'm not drinking enough water. Like I've always struggled with drinking enough water and right now I'm not drinking enough water. And so I try, I try to get a couple of cups of water in at night, but sometimes like I completely forget. And, and you notice it when you're like, if you have like digestive issues or if you're like trying to go to the bathroom and stuff, you know when you're not drinking enough water. Yeah, and the hair, we're still trying to figure it out. I mean, We're still trying to figure it out. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So I'm trying to also figure out like what kind of vlogging camera I want. Like most of the girls use the Canon Mark II or Mark III um, G7X Mark II. Um, but I follow a couple, Brandon Fallis and his wife and he uses a GoPro to vlog and I mean his vlogs are not crystal clear quality but it's decent and it's a tiny camera a tiny GoPro that he uses and he just switched to the 10 and when I was looking up the um I was looking up some information about the 10 a lot of people were complaining about the overheating that it does so I don't think I'm gonna pay for a GoPro because the GoPro is actually the same price as the Canon camera it's like four hundred dollars and the canon is like 4.99 so so yeah these cameras are expensive so i bought a new ipad and i was gonna try to i was trying to sell this ipad that i have so i have this ipad pro it's a first generation 12.9 inch and i am trying to sell this one so that i could buy a camera um but it's not selling and I think it's because people want me to low like low ball the price down to barely nothing like a part of me wants to go back to the MacBook but I like editing on my iPad it's faster it's not as um, chaotic I can do it on like the airplanes and um, just at random times I can edit it's like really simple like I use iMovie to edit and it's like really I deleted the video, but anyway, it's like really easy to, it's so crazy how the clips are gone and they're saying that they're gone, but I can still see it up here. But anyway, like I use it to edit videos and, you know, I can pretty much do majority of the stuff that I can do on my computer on the iPad. And I just usually just do that. And then I just upload it to YouTube when I'm done. Just come here and then just upload the video. What's so funny is that my passport is so ugly, but then mm -hmm. when And then I use um, YouTube Studio to make any changes that I need to make. And so like here I was looking at uh, YouTube Music, but I use the Studio channel to like make any changes that I need to make to it. Like if I need to add any 
things on it or yeah subtitles and screens you can pretty much do all that on the ipad too so it's it's a little bit easier and i can touch and move i don't have to click on the keyboard and so yeah but anyway i bought a new ipad and i got the fifth generation so i've jumped a couple of generations it's the one without the the button so i'm gonna maybe open that up uh in the morning check it out I think I'm having a little bit of buyer's remorse. That's why I'm taking so long to open the box. It's just sitting on my dresser. <laughs> yeah. 